welcome to Den of Tools. Hey ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we've got the Memorial Day sale coming at you from Home Depot. Let's jump into it real quick. So this is the flyer. Now somebody on the last one, the, on the uh, the Lowe's one, tried to claim that, oh, that's not a certified flyer. I got the one from the actual store. I put the link in the video. I'm going to put the link for this one in the video also. It's directly from uh, Home Depot's website. So good luck with that one. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Let me zoom in here so you can see all the good information. All right, we got get grilling with hundreds of grill options, 10% off military discount. Ooh, cannot be combined with any other offer valid in stores, blah, 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 blah. Now, does that mean it's... 10% uh, off just the flag here because you got the flag kit or is this all things? We're going to talk about the military discount here at the end. So we'll get into that later. Uh, let's. What else we got here? We got, of course, the garden soil and the bug be gone and mulch. You know, got to get some good mulch in there and gloves. Those are hard to find these days. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we, got, uh, we got more uh, home defense, the ortho home defense and some roundup there. Uh, people got a little too... Uh, too worked up about my comments about it causing cancer. I use this stuff. I'm not worried about it. I, I'm not going to get into the alleged science behind it. Anyway, uh, small plants with big impacts. That looks like a bucket full of pain right there, if you ask me. All right, moving along here. We got more flowers. We got more lawn care. Upgrade with a fire pit, but it doesn't say, oh, it's how to build a fire pit. Now, there you go. All right. One thing I'm going to say is that at least Home Depot is doing here is they, they get the tools at least, I'm not going to say they got them right, but it's a lot better than what we were seeing over at Lowe's. First up, we're going to talk about some Milwaukee. And there's more, of course, there's more than just these. This is just what's in the flyer. Then we'll highlight some stuff as we go forward. So we got the uh, free M12 2 amp hour battery with purchase of select power tools. Valid 520 through 521. So this one's going to end at the end of the month. You got the job site radio. You've got the fuel hacksaw. And then you've got the uh, the nice, I love this combo here, the drill driver in the impact fuel M12 combo for 229. And you're going to get the free battery with that, of course. Then we also have down below, we've got the M18 volt brushless. This is Milwaukee's middle of the road. You know, we're just talking about DeWalt's middle of the road. Uh, that's the brushless kit there for $200. That's not a bad deal. We got the uh, M18 uh, multi, the fuel multi-tool. That is, you know, the multi-tools do eat batteries. You're not going to benefit much from extra power with that, but you're going to get that extra runtime on that. Okay, we got the brushless circ saw. Again, you're, where you're not going to get so much extra power with this one, but you're definitely going to get way longer run times on that. And then we have the 18-volt brushless two-tool 5-amp with the... Uh, the drill driver, or sorry, the hammer drill, and the impact there for $400. And we got some uh, Sawzall, look at this, Sawzall 10-piece uh, 10 recip uh, blade set there for $19.97. Always like the ones that come with a little case that's nice and handy to keep them from, you know, bouncing around and whatnot. We got a couple of the shockwaves bits, the drill bits, and of course the multi-tools as well. Then we get into Makita. Makita's got the 159 value. Anytime you can get a deal on Makita batteries, if you're in the Makita line, you need to consider it because these batteries are pricey and you get the, the two pack of the five amp hour batteries with purchase of one particular saw kit here of one of the, the two, you have the two options. So we've got the uh, the 36 volt brushless circ saw there on the bottom and we have the LXT seven and a quarter brushless circ saw up on the top. Your choice between the two, 249 for either or and you get the free batteries with that. Okay, dropping down, we've got the grinder right here for $159. That's not, again, this is brushless, so that's a, a nice deal. Brushless on a grinder is going to get you that extra long run time there. And the uh, the LXT 18 volt, I got to tell you, I'm a big fan of Makita. Uh, I've got this impact driver. I think it's a hell of a deal there. Uh, I, I almost wish <laughs> I didn't have it because I could buy this combo here. Anyway, $400. They're not cheap, but they're, they're good tools. Now we get into the DeWalt here. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of the Atomic line of tools there. Uh, you know, it's kind of like Makita does with their compact tools. They're trying to do the same thing. The only thing that's that's kind of bad here is these aren't the best prices that we've seen. Recently, there's been some really good prices on these. These are at or below the, those level of prices. The $100 there on the drill driver, that's not bad. $159 on the, uh, on the impact, that's a bit rough. $139 on... The multi-tool 149 on the recip, yeah, okay. 
All right, moving along, we got some more Diablo Blades here, or we got actually some Diablo Blades. I guess the other ones are from Milwaukee. We got the Demon 9-inch Bimetal Blade. Now, this is not the same one you saw me use. The one I had was the Amp, so it was a step up from this, considering this was $3.97. The blades I were using, I think, were like $15 a pop. We got the Diablo Cirque Saw 997 for a seven and a quarter inch Cirque Saw. This is your typical 24 tooth framing saw there. We get the Speed Demon 12 piece spade bit set and the five piece oscillating blade set 49.97 there. All right, now we got some orange here. Let's talk about that because rigid, we don't talk a lot about rigid on here. So I want to make sure we, we touch base on them. We got your uh, your basic kit here with the, uh, the, the Cirque Saw and the drill driver. You get your battery and you get your charger there for $179. We got a couple battery deals here, $17 uh, for the two amp hour, $119 for the four amp hour. Oof. But, you know, that's the high, the max output, so that's going to get you some more juice in there. It's going to be their version, if you will. They're not doing the Octane stuff anymore, so I think this is what's rep replacing the Octane. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what the max output is. All right, we got the 18-volt drill driver, 2 amp hour kit there for $100. That's your basic brush kit there. Next to that, we've got the basically the same thing with the impact. You get two batteries for $140. I got to tell you, the basic rigid stuff and the brush stuff, it's it's all right. It's all right. The brushless stuff from rigid is actually pretty nice there. You know, here we see a nice uh, four-tool set over here, 18-volt brushless. You get a 2-amp-hour battery, a 4-amp-hour battery, and a charger. I wish they kept with the older chargers. These newer ones, I don't think they're nearly as good as the older ones. But, you know, they are some good tools there. And you can see a lot of the DNA coming over from the Super Sawzall into this. $400 there. All right. Now we got over at Ryobi. Of course, it's Ryobi days going on. We're going to talk a lot more about Ryobi here later, so we're just going to pass through on that one right now. Let's get going. We got paint, 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 and more good paint. Uh, we got some painter's tape. We got a painter's tool. We got the the uh, Flexio 2000 HVLP sprayer there for 129 I don't know anything about the Flexio. You, you, you think it's good, you let me know. Uh, we got a couple ladders here. So we got the first one here is... This is the Werner Ladder. It's $179. This is your typical Little Giant style. It's for 22 foot. Still think it's kind of high. I've seen better deals on those. You got the $29 and uh, 88, sorry, $29, call it $30, step ladder there. And we got the, the typical uh, Class 2, or sorry, Type 2 extension ladder, 24 feet there for $149. All right, we got some furniture and some uh, more stuff. Here we go, more ladders. As I said, there's a lot of ladders in this ad here. So we got this one. Now, this is the hybrid style from Gorilla. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can get there on the screen. So what makes this hybrid, this isn't double fold or any of that funny stuff, but the top two uh, pegs there on it are actually platforms. So you can get your big bare feet up on there and it gives you a more stable place to sit or I should say stand. And I really like that. If you're doing a lot of work up high or overhead, that kind of stuff, that much better than having just rungs to put your, your feet on. Having that nice ba you know base there makes you feel a little bit more stable. It's a little more safe. All right. And then next to that, we've got another of the uh, the the multi-tool, if you would, ladders here. We got the 22-inch reach MPX aluminum multi-position ladder for $179. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's come ceiling fans. Yada, yada, yada. We got the traditional black and yellow, man. These things, everyone has these these days. And as you can see, prices are going up. This is a Memorial Day sale. And that's not, you know, if you compare it against two years ago, that's not a deal. But for right now, if they have it in stock, it's a deal. Uh, we got some uh, shelving here. Always good to have more shelving around the garage. Uh, 104 and 189 for the five tier and the four tier there. And moving along, we got, uh, we got flooring. We got light fixtures. We're not going to get into that. You, there's something there you like you can see that and then appliances okay i'm gonna say it again the samsung stuff not my favorite i would have to say i don't care how good a deal it is i i you're gonna want especially on the front loaders all right now lg i've had good luck with lg but i'll gonna say this again avoid the front loaders they they just don't have the lasting power uh they look pretty they look nice you gotta buy the pedestal separately just get the, you get a, if it has an agitator, get a top down. Anyway, we're going to talk more about these in just a minute. We got some more kitchen stuff. As I said, we're going to get more into that. Although I will say this, the Amana there, I don't know. Back in the day, Amana was the one to go to for 
quote unquote radar ranges, aka microwaves, $198. I don't know. I haven't kept up with the mana. Are they still as good as they used to be? I wouldn't touch the Samsung here with a baseball bat, but uh, I might consider the Amana. But maybe maybe I'm just remembering the old Amana. You know, these, these companies, they all change as they go along. Look at this, another ladder. We got the 5997 six-foot fiberglass step ladder there. 250-pound capacity. Nice basic fiberglass ladder there. Uh, we got the uh, overhead garage door opener for 195. We got a ceiling fan with 52-inch. Uh, was it Mary LED ceiling fan there uh, for 89.88? All right, and we get some more storage here. 189 for the four-tier heavy-duty storage there from Husky. And of course, we got some more of the little Ryobi deals in there. We got the impact driving bill set or bit set there for $9.97 and the 20 piece drilling impact driving set for $9.97 as well. All right. And what else we got here? We got uh, the drill driver basic kit for $79. I wouldn't get this right now, considering the Ryobi deals are days that are going on. There's better deals out there, but this right here, 200 bucks. Look at that kit. You get the drill driver, the impact, the recip, the multi tool, you get some batteries. You get a charger and you get the Cirque saw and the light. That for two hundred dollars. If you want to get into green, get grab that and grab that basic starter kit. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. Anyway, let's jump into some of the more specific deals. Again, we got some winners and some losers here. So I, I said that I've had good luck with LG appliances and I've had bad luck with Samsung appliances. I had a few people chime in and said that they they didn't like their LG, but I had a lot more people chime in saying yeah they really like the LG stuff. What do you all think is the best refrigerator bang for the buck out there, okay? You're looking at 33 inch, you see your double door freezer on the bottom for $1,500, $300 off. Seems like a pretty sweetheart of a kind of deal. Has pretty good ratings there. Let's see if it's got a fish hook on it. And I don't see any fish hook on those, on those reviews. Maybe I'm wrong, but that one looks like it's pretty reliable there. All right, again, the Samsung, it looks beautiful. It is a beautiful machine. It looks gorgeous. And like mine for six years ran like a top. And then I had to tear the whole thing apart and replace it. And apparently that's pretty much standard with these washing machines. 698, you, your mileage may vary. Here's what I'm talking about. Get a top down standard washing machine. Now this one isn't gonna be the best one because you know what it doesn't have? doesn't have a standard agitator in there it's the, that's the new design there that they do it's going to do a good job washing but you, you can't beat a good agitator trust me i am one anyway speed queen if you want to buy a a really reliable washing machine and dryer you want to get a speed queen that's what all the pros who fix these things all day long are going to tell you what they're not going to mention is how much they cost because they cost an arm and a leg and a couple picnic baskets to boot. $1,300, that's just for the, basically what you're getting here is you're getting the reliability of like a professional coin out machine without the coin changer. My wife would be bummed because she loves, you know, coins and such, but that's what you're getting with this. This is like, you know, if you save up and you buy this, it's probably going to last as long or longer than you are. All right, let's talk grilling. We talked about a whole bunch of grills over at Lowe's. Let's see what Home Depot brings. And of course, they've got the same Weber grill. I think that's the same price, $7.79, your basic three burner Weber grill there. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that I said that I thought the Webers were overpriced and they try to say, well, you get what you pay for. I've had plenty of the less expensive grills. And there are some people try to say, oh, they melt to the ground and stuff. Oh my gosh, the drama llama is strong in some of y'all. It, you know what, if you take care of it, just like with tools, if you take care of it, you don't trash it, you put a cover over it, you know, they, they last a good long time. Heck, that cheap one we bought from Lowe's, I on purpose have not let put a cover on it, left it out in the Vegas sun and winter, got snowed on, it froze, it's cooking in 120 degree heat, it works just fine. Paid a hundred and, what, 10, 20 bucks for it. Uh, what else we got here? We got their their version of the Komodo, 133 inches is the smaller one, the baby Komodo egg here for 379. Okay, I say egg, this may not be the, there's probably a license on the egg name, I don't know. Uh, we got a monument pellet grill. I'm surprised there's not more pellet grills here over at Home Depot, but th there's not. Uh, you can get $500 on that one. Let's see, we got the big boy of the uh, Komodo style, and this one is $6.99. I'll be honest, I'm not seeing any anything here that is like 
just driving me crazy going like that is something you need to consider i don't know what about you this is the big one they were pushing on the front page at 250 dollars i mean it's a decent price for nice stainless steel looking kind of grill but i'll be honest that two that was 198 or 100 whatever less than 200 dollar grill they had over at, at lowe's i think that's a better deal than this thing now this does have the side burner i don't know if that's a big deal for you personally for me I've never been a big fan of the side burner. You know, I, you know, if I'm going to do that kind of cooking, I do it in the kitchen. I don't need to do it on the grill along with everything else. But uh, and also, it doesn't seem to have the sear burner like the other one does. I would go with the one over at Lowe's. I think Lowe's takes the uh, takes the award for best uh, grill deal for uh, Memorial Day. But, but that's about it. The canopy over there, maybe they went for the canopy, but we're going to get into a lot of stuff here. The Home Depot is just doing better. For, uh, for the old uh, uh, Memorial Day sale. Chamberlain, we talked about the uh, the garage door openers before. Here's another one. This is their smart one for $195, and it's got the uh, MyQ built into it, which means it's a smart, it was a smart garage door opener. It connects to your Wi-Fi, and you can access it from your phone. You can open it, basically, if your phone has an internet connection and your internet's working in your home, you can open your garage from anywhere. If you got a service person coming out, you got the like maybe your water meters inside or something. Like we have here in Vegas, we've got uh, landscape people who come and do like the irrigation that kind of stuff, and it's uh, and we've got the meter or not the meter, but the controls are inside the garage. Well, if I'm not home, I gotta be home to meet them. If we have that installed, like our last house, I didn't have to. I could just hit the button, open it up. They could go on in. They could do what they need to do and be done with it. This gives you a lot of options. You got a package that needs to get delivered. You got a neighbor who needs to go borrow a tool. God help you. You know, the, I found lots of reasons to use this. Now, you can also do some stuff after, I want to say after market, but like if you buy one of the base units, a lot of them, you can add the uh, the whole MyQ controller after the fact. And I did that in one house we got where it only came with one garage door controller. And we needed a second one, and I was able to get the MyQ controller for less than the price of a buying a second controller. All right, enough of that. Moving on here. Outdoor uh, patio furniture equipment here. I got to say, as far as the winner and losers on this one, I think we're all losers when it comes to this. I don't think there is a winner. Some of this looks nice and all, but that, that does not look comfortable to me. And I'm going to pay $233 to sit on it. That's ridiculous. This is... Oh, oh my gosh, $1,400 for some plastic outdoor furniture That and the frog. Really? The frog? We, we got to do that? I, I'm i sorry, guys and gals, but we, there, we need to have a, uh, a sit down, an intervention when it comes to outdoor patio furniture. It's all boring as all heck, and uh, it's a lot of it's ugly, and it's not comfortable, and it costs way too much. All right garage garage organization here husky i gotta tell you husky their their quality on their stuff like some of their tools are you look at the husky stuff and you're like yeah this is not great some of the other stuff is really nice i think the husky uh garage storage is some of the best that i've seen i really like the stuff but the price kind of matches you look at the big ready to you know ready to go here 374 dollars uh the husky what we got 20 gauge steel here 36 by 81 by 24 the 36 by 72 8 by 18 over here as you see it's not nearly as, as deep the but the price on on this 450 on that there was a gladiator one on here i saw that was way cheaper but anyway the lots of great uh, sales here on the husky stuff 209 on this one 112 on the overhead that's not a bad price to doing some overhead kind of stuff but you're looking at look at that $2,100 for the full boat, you know, wall of, of storage there. And what this one's only 16. Why is that 16? I, I guess because it's got the bottom drawers that drives up the price there rather than just the bottom cabinets. All right, moving along, we got trailers. Now, there was only one really good option for like a big savings on a trailer 37%. 37% off on any trailer has got to be something to, to consider. This isn't the style of trailer I would go for. Eh, it's a, a bit small. It's just not my kind of style, but maybe it works for you. $650. Now, if you cringe at that price, you haven't been looking at trailers lately. Man, people think they're made of gold. All right, we got outdoor power equipment. We got a whole bunch here. 
Just to give quick heads up, these two uh, Milwaukee ones, they're part of the Milwaukee Buy More, Save More. We're going to be covering all that here later, so we're not going to talk about those. But check out these Ryobis. The, man, zero turn, right on, all electric, 48 volt. But the price there, $4,600, $3,800. You're paying for that convenience, but wow, talking about riding in luxury there. That looks nice there. A lot of great deals here. Got a nice little wood chipper there, a Kohler gas power chipper for twenty one hundred dollars. You're you're paying for it there, but uh, that's gonna that's not gonna be just for you know little you know leaves and and sticks and stuff. You're gonna be able to chip some good sized stuff with that. Uh, we got the auger sportsman auger. This is another gas powered six inch gas powered auger for two hundred dollars. We got the Ryobi over here, the eighteen volt lithium ion cordless chainsaw with four amp hour battery and charger included for 169 that's not a bad option let me just step through some of this stuff there's a lot here to go through so i'm going to put links to each one of these pages i show you here i'm probably going to have a link down below unless it's the one where i'm like don't buy this then i'm not going to have a link to it but i did want to talk about this right here the sun joe check this out sun joe this is a cordless pressure washer so basically what you got is a, you know, a water tank up here and you get your battery and everything else down here. So you can use a, it's, you take your own water with you. So there's no hose or anything. Your water's right there in that bucket. That's pretty clever. I got to say, I like that. Anyway, let's move along to the next item we got here. And that is Makita. We're getting into the power tools. I know we talked about this deal here before where you get the, uh, the batteries and stuff. But just to show you, this is already coming with two batteries and a double charger, and you're getting two batteries on top of that. That's what makes that a screaming deal. You got four batteries, double charger, great saw. Let's talk about some of these other deals over here. We got some of the 12 volt stuff. Check this out the CXT rather than the LXT. This is our cordless three piece combo kit. You're getting here uh, an impact and a, an impact. I think you're getting the impact wrench and you're getting the impact driver there. Uh, plus the uh, look at that you get the little flashlight converter there you get the couple batteries you get the charger and you're getting a four amp hour battery and you're getting the fan that goes with it that's pretty cool right there that's not a bad little deal and we got a whole bunch of other deals here i'm, I'm gonna step through these real quick because actually there's quite a bit this real quick i wanted to call out a lot of you pointed out that there was a better deal over home depot with for that makita than with the two batteries here look at this 179 that even beats the other deal we had and that was a pretty good deal on that one uh we got some uh, other we got the impact driver here now this is the half inch impact wrench on the 18 volt lxt system 179 there so you're getting the two batteries this is kind of like the deal we were seeing we're, we're seeing with uh uh, with Ryobi days and stuff like that, where you buy the two batteries, you get the tool for free. So you got an impact wrench, you got a light, you got a grinder, you got the uh, the die grinder there. So, I mean, you're some pretty cool deals there if you're into the Makita lineup. Oh, and I almost forgot about this one, where you got the rotary hammer down here as an option as well. Not stuff you're not going to see with the uh, Ryobi days. But let's talk about Ryobi Days. Ryobi Days is still going on. It's still big sale right there. It's going to go on until August at the very least. You know, a bunch of free tools. You come in here, you, you get the uh, the combo here for the two batteries and the charger, and you click on the free gift, and you can go through the whole list. If you want more information on what's all in Ryobi Days, I have two videos on it. You can go take a look at those. But that said, Airstrike. we got to talk about the Airstrike. No, you can't get one for free as part of the combo deals, but they're having great sale prices. Look at this, the 18 gauge Brad Nailer for $99. I did not think it was going to go down to $99 this year. It's been at that price for the past couple of years. In fact, maybe we saw it maybe a couple bucks cheaper, but I didn't think it was going to hit the $99 mark again with the way prices are going up. And there it is. That's, I don't know if you'll ever see it again, but Ryobi makes some of the best bang for the buck nailers out there. Uh, we got the 16 gauge nailer next to it for $150. There's a nailer router combo. We got all sorts of, here's the combo with the two of them for 357. That seems a bit excessive. Maybe the battery, uh, you're getting the battery and the charger in there. That's that's why, okay. Here's one with the uh, with the cordless uh, airstrike Brad nailer with the, uh, the crown stapler as well. Tool only there for 178. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. If you're looking to get into a cordless nailer line, you know, maybe get that Ryobi two battery deal 
uh, grab something else and then grab some of these airstrikes, even if you're not using anything else. The other thing is there's a lot of battery converters out there you could use to say, use your DeWalt battery or something to power a Ryobi if you just want to get the, the, uh, the Brad Nailer or something like that. All right, moving along. So not just Ryobi, not just Makita, Milwaukee's got in on the, the deal here as well. You buy the base starter kit, the two batteries with the charger. Now there's two of these, there's two starter kits and you get the free tool. Now at $299, limit two per order, so 300 bucks, you basically, you get these two batteries. And these are good batteries. These are six amp, uh, sorry, six amp hour high output. These are screaming Mimi kind of batteries there. And you get your choice of, you know, you got the Cirque saw, you got the rocket light, you got another battery, you got a grinder, you got the fuel, sorry, the fuel grinder, the fuel one-handed recip, the Gen 3 fuel, compact impact and also uh, i know you can't see on your screen the the fuel pack out uh, vacuum as well all of those are great deals there that that uh gen 3 compact impact that's a 220 dollar deal on that one getting it for free with this that's best definitely the adding the most bang for the buck on that one then they have one that's a step down this is going to come with the xc 5.0 and the CP 2.0. So the CP is going to get you that higher output. It's the 21700 batteries versus the 18650s. This package is $200. You still get a free item. You don't get nearly as many to choose from, though. You get the uh, random orbit sander. You get the uh, the multi-tool. It's not the fuel. I have, no, I'm sorry, I take that back. I got the 12 volt one, not this one. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that one, to be honest. You get the M18 fuel Hammer drill, though, that's an option for $150. And you got the M18 fuel surge option there. That's $150 value right there. Some people are like, oh, I hope that thing goes on sale. It, uh, granted, I, I get paying $200 for it is not exactly on sale per se, but getting the two extra batteries in the charger, it's almost like being for free. Oh, wait, it totally is. <laughs> All right, now we talked about buy more, pay more, or <laughs> buy more, pay more, buy more, save more. So this is Milwaukee's buy more, basics like Cobalt does. The more you spend, the more you save. Uh, there's You can click on these ones. I'm going to just give you a link to the whole page because there's a lot to cover here for everything. They got hand tools as well. There's two pages of deals here. Lots of stuff to take a look at. I mean, everything from outdoor power equipment to drill bits and ratchets, all sorts of stuff. Milwaukee Bucks. I don't think that's part of the buy more, save more. I could be wrong there. Anyway, so I'll put a link to that page and you can take a look at all of that stuff. Rigid, here's some more rigid stuff here. And we've got a bunch of different combos here. The rigid belt sander plus the uh, the jigsaw there for 179. We got the multi-tool here. That's funny, I always wonder about the, the, the new HP multi-tool from Ryobi. I'm like, who designed that thing? And you start looking at the rigid one, you can see, oh, I see where that DNA came from. 159 on that combo kit there. And by combo, I mean it's the tool of the battery. I'll stop doing this. The tool of the battery and the charger there. We got the grinder there with the uh, kit for 139. We got the uh, the the bandsaw there for 199. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent bandsaw. It's small. It's super compact. You know, you're only gonna be able to use it for certain kind of jobs. It's it's a very specific use. But for that, it's small. It's portable. It's fast. Good bandsaw. We got the router there for 149. Here's a combo with the multi-tool and the recip for 200. Here's the uh, the recip with the battery charger for uh, 220. Anyway, I'll just let you step through these. Again, we'll have a, a link to this page if you're in the uh, in the orange brand there and you want to expand your lineup. Well, here's the here's some good choices for you. Check this out. $200, you get two four amp hour batteries and two two amp hour batteries in the max output line. That's that's got got to be something you got to consider there. Okay. Okay, we got to talk about the Home Depot military discount thing, okay? They did say there right on the, on the first part in the in the ad that they would have, hold on, let me scroll back over to it, that they would have a 10% off, there we go, military discount, cannot be combined with any other offers. Now, usually what that means, and that's what it says here, is that basically not doesn't work on sale items, all right? So you're not going to be stacking any kind of sales. They don't post an official policy it's kind of store by store it's very much your mileage may vary that's why a lot of people a lot and a lot of vets i know they prefer to shop over at lowe's lowe's 
you know, they state the policy. It's easy to sign up for it. There, there's rules in place. It's a done deal. You know what you're going to get. You can even order online if you're signed up and get the discount. And they have the parking there as well. You're not going to get any of that over at Home Depot. You, you got also, here's the other thing. You ha either have to be active duty or you have to be fully retired. If you're just a veteran and you didn't do your full 20, you're not getting the discount. Sorry. On top of that, the maximum you can save on any single purchase is $50. All right, they cap it at 500 bucks. Now, I've heard the unofficial policy at Lowe's is that's the same thing, but I've also heard that Lowe's generally doesn't enforce it. That, again, that's one of those your mileage may vary things. Anyway, just wanted to add all that in there with it being Memorial Day and everything. Now, I get it. Saving money is a good thing, and we always like to have fun, get more tools and all that kind of stuff. But also take a few moments out of your, out of your weekend to remember what this holiday is all about. Anyway, Bear's not going to preach to you anymore. That's all we got for you today. I want to hear down in the comments what you think. Who do you think won the, the uh, Memorial Day sale? Do you think it was Home Depot? Do you think it was Lowe's? What was the best deal? What's the deal you're most excited about? That's what I really want to hear about. Put it down in the comments. Why it down there? Don't forget to chomp the old like button. Smash that subscribe. Ring the bell on your way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.